the most poignant seven words ever uttered in any speech anywhere. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. You have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path. You've got to find what you love. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. Stay hungry. Stay foolish. Confucius said one time, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. The only thing that I see distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, but if we get on the treadmill, there's two things. You're getting off first, yeah. or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. There's a reason. I want to make sure you understand the reason. The reason why you matter is because you'll never have, you'll never be, you'll never do. You are powerful beyond measure. Your daddy wasn't in your life. Your mother wasn't in your life. I don't know. You didn't have a mentor. I don't know. But you, you may have never heard someone look you in your eye. Look you in your soul and tell you that you not only matter, you're powerful. I want you to take your life to a whole new level. I want you not only to understand you matter. I want you to go in that mirror and say I'm I matter. You can't activate life. You can't begin to experience life in the way you want to experience. You can't have it. You can't be it. You can't do it until you activate it. It's all in there. All your gifts, all your talents, all your everything you need to do to be what you've been called to do. What you've been birthed to do, you can't do until you activate it, until you recognize you matter. You're powerful beyond measure. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. The point is, every graduate here today has the training and the talent to succeed. But do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. You want to know why most people can never get anywhere in life, why most people never live, never experience, never build, never do anything worthwhile in life? You know why? Because most people's egos are so inflated and so fragile that they won't allow people to see them be bad at something. You've never done something before. You expect yourself to be awesome at it. You haven't done the work. You haven't put in the time. You haven't put in the study hours. You haven't had the experience, but you expect to be good. And because you expect to be good, but you know you're not gonna be good, you don't do anything. I want your dream to be so clear, so vivid, right? That when you wake up in the morning, all you gotta do is step in your dream. The only thing that's gonna get you up out that bed, the only thing that's gonna make you strive past that obstacle, get past that brick wall, and it's coming. The only thing that's going to make you get up and do what you're supposed to do is what you see. When you wake up in the morning, look at your goals, your goals gonna tell you what time to get up. Your goals gonna tell you who you should be hanging out with. 
People are going to laugh at you. People are going to point at you. People are going to make fun of you. But if you understand that losing and getting laughed at and all these things, and you understand how to use those things to improve and get better, you're going to have the last fucking laugh. What has brought you to this point? What did you learn from it? Are you learning anything? Or are you doing it over and over and over again? Are you going through it or are you growing through it? Are you bigger and better because of it? Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. Yes, I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. Expect things to get better for you because they are. See, life is cyclic. Whatever experience you're having right now, it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. Most people don't even try, sadly. Um, uh, most people um, try and then stop or give up. Um, very few people try and try and try or do and do and do and do and never give up. And those are the people that, that ultimately succeed and win. And most people avoid the struggle. Most people go through life avoiding pain. And when you go through life like that, something in you dies. Something in you that you never activate is lying dormant in there, that you never get a chance to call on because you have not challenged yourself. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream, that it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams of the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves, what's using my life? One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time. That you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships, the children are acting normal. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. 